Hey guys, so today's unboxing video is Prism Platinum. They have a sticker on here that says, please film unboxing video. So I am going to go ahead and do that and um, see what we have. This is for a go. So this is not for their pre-order binder where they had or pre-order in the beginning of I want to say January, right? They had a pre-order for their chunky binders, which I absolutely got one. And um, <clears throat> this is for all their stuff that was in stock. And um, due to a very lovely friend, recently told me that um, I should not be keeping my um, like film strips, like the butter film strips, in the original plastic that they came in, which. Personally, I've been keeping them all in the plastic, like, for example, like these. So this is something I need to put away. So if these film strips came in their own individual plastic, I would keep them and just store it in my binder that way. And um, very nice, lovely friend, um, Michaela, told me that I should not keep them because that would that could potentially ruin the, the, the items, right? The, the film strip. Um, oh. This is nicely packaged. Um, so I get it. So I had to do the very brave thing of <laughs> unwrapping all of those into, um, and um, now I have to get new sleeves for them. Um, so um, what I decided to do was host a uh, go for the items that um, Prism Platinum had in store like another separate go um for these special items and then i could um start sleeving some of my stuff because um they had all the uh what the, they had like basically all the odd shaped um <clears throat> sleeves and oh, i figured i might as well do that since i was basically forced to to un unpackage them from their original packaging no i'm just kidding it was not that dramatic but i generally do not like taking them out so even like the japan like hollow lucky draws i do not take those out of the plastic i leave those in um because i don't want to um I would assume that, like, especially, like, the Japanese ones, those are all, those would be, um, PVC, PVC, but, I mean, my friend made a very good point that we shouldn't assume that, and if we're gonna spend that much money on, um, PCs, then we should probably, you know, treat it better, which, you know, it makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick, like, inventory check on just make sure that everything that was ordered in the go is in these boxes, which I believe is, we have like a total of like 36 items I want to say, <clears throat> so that's why I'm kind of opening this strategically, but um, yeah. I really love, I mean, if you haven't seen my other, like, binder set of video for Prism Platinum, I absolutely love their stuff. Their stuff is really, really good. Um, like, the quality is there, I feel like, for the price that they charge for. And, you know, they, they pride themselves on really good quality and that, like, it is made for collectors instead of um, us adapting, us as collectors adapting um, other products that were maybe used for magic cards or Pokemon cards for our collection. So I definitely like continue to oops, continue to buy their product. And the owner is super nice. Kathy is super nice. So if you haven't tried their product um, or checked out their product, please do. Um, oop, a little peanut. Please do check it out. And, um, you know, maybe you can get a, give it a try. I usually will host a go whenever, um, 
whenever she has a new product out. I've had now have like five goes with her. And um, yeah, I've never had any issues, which um, is amazing. It's just great. So, so these are all this stuff here. things. I wonder why these were separate. Okay. So I believe this little piece of paper was in an invoice. Yeah. And she's always very nice that she gives out these little freebies um, with each of the go orders. Um, and then thank you for your order, Prism Platinum. So yeah, I'll put her information in the description if you um, want to check her out. Check out their store. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry. I also decided to just take inventory really quick so everything's accounted for. Um, I figured before I start putting all my stuff away, um, I'll just show you what we got. And just for size reference, you can kind of take a look at um, the size and like how it fits basically. So this is pretty much one of everything. Uh, there's one more, I think, is the butter one. Yeah. And then this one's mine. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is let me bring out my binder. And... So, this one, no. Most of the stuff that I have are for, um... For, like, album PCs and all the weird sizes that... All the album PCs come with. Um... So I'll kind of just do this comparison and then, you know, have a little demonstration. Hopefully that will help um, and also determine like what kind of size if you're looking for it. So um, these are the ones that my friend Claire got. So she got mini tour PCs. We all know what like the mini tour size looks like. Let's see, do I have one on hand? Let me grab one. Just coincidentally have this one. So this is a mini tour size that fit perfectly, right? Standard, kind of standard mini tour size. Then we, she has also the holographic sleeves. Um, I believe, let's see what kind of holographic, I don't know if you can tell, but these are pretty like kind of standard premium holographic ones. Um, these are, which one's this one? I think this is the wings one. So let's find my wings. Uh, is that wings? No. <clears throat> Which one is this one? Young Forever. Clearly I am not prepared for this. No, Young Forever had a little, oh, here's Young Forever. So here's Young Forever. And she has a noted Young Forever on the, <clears throat> so these fit perfectly, the album PCs, Young Forever album PCs. Um, and there is mini postcards, duh, it says it right there. So the mini postcards are supposed to fit <clears throat> these, which <clears throat> they fit these. And these are the uh, Persona mini postcards and also the proof ones. These also fit the proof ones. So those fit those perfectly. Awesome. Okay, we'll sit there until I put them back. Okay, then there's also <clears> HYYH. <clears throat> I should have gotten these, but actually I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm sharing a pack with another friend for the HYYH size, so I didn't get an actual set for myself. But that's what they look like, H-Y-Y-H. And then, the triptychs. Did I get a triptych? I think I did. 
Did I get triptychs? I did get triptychs. So let's put those away because I have I have some to put away. So my triptychs currently, originally they were in a three pocket and um, just because of three pocket and how it's lined up, um, there was some overlap and I couldn't, there was an open space on the top. So per my friend, I am not supposed to store this. This is in the original packaging that Weaver Shop gave us. I am not supposed to save it like this. So my plan is that I'm going to take out these triptychs. I'm still keeping the backing paper. I, I have this weird thing. <clears throat> I don't know. Tell me if anybody else has this, right? I can't be the only one who has this kind of weird thing that I like to keep things in the original packaging. Like, I don't need to take it out and like look at it <laughs> per se. Um, Cause then I'm also afraid that I have, uh, I'm gonna damage it. I also have children and this is in my office. And um, a lot of times my children just come and go as they please and while, you know, I tell them, don't touch my stuff. Um, there have been instances where um, they've touched something that they weren't supposed to touch and caused some damage. So, this one's my pack. Let's see. Let's see how these fit. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, these feel nice. It's like nice and... I don't know if you can tell, right? It's like nice and thick. Okay. Uh oh. I must not bend JK. Oh geez. Okay, here we go. That's also my fear. Like if I take this out and I like start fiddling with it, I'm gonna end up like damaging it somehow. I know I am. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so how will I put this back then? Because then it just kind of it'll just float around. Yeah. But supposedly, do I want to put it back in the three pocket? Do I have a three pocket in here? I don't think so. Oh, the three pocket that I have in here is, let's see, is for the bookmarks. Yeah. So I had this originally, so I could, oh, I could put that back, right? Hmm. Those also fit in here. Oh, it does. Just ever so smaller. So I want to keep the backing so that I can actually see the picture too. So. <clears throat> Let's put those away and then I'll come back to that. So I will just I think what I'll end up just doing is I'll just do this. Sorry, this is weird. Okay. There. That looks okay, right? <laughs> so is a review and a put away a haul and a put away all at the same time yeah so like one of these packs is 20 pieces inside and especially for people who only member collect and even if you do ot7 for these there's you have like a ton of extra so i'll probably share this with um my friends who uh who don't have who may need only a few There we go. And then let's put Hobi and Yungi away. These triptychs are nice. These film strips. I, mean, I guess I don't need to keep the original plastic. <clears throat> oh, my music turned off. Today is Thursday the 16th. 
um, tonight at midnight, Eastern Standard Time, Jimin's first solo single comes out, which I hope everybody will give it a listen and support it, stream it, buy it on iTunes, all your usual social media platforms. Um, and please support it. It would be nice. Uh, what is this one? Oh, these are San Paulo. So let me keep those for the last. And then these are also the postcards. So, did I get any postcards? I did get the postcards. Okay. So let me put my friends away. Put that behind me. I don't accidentally open it. So I did get postcards size. And honestly, I'm not really sure if, I, if I'm going to need these because... I generally do not sleeve my postcards. Um, I don't really need to. Let's see, will this fit? It will fit. Oh, but it kind of bubbles it a little. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, I don't really sleeve my postcards. And... Um, I'll have to figure out if I like this kind of bubbly look. I don't know if you can see that, right? There's this because it's an extra layer of plastic. I don't know. For now, I'm not going to use it because I do have a lot of postcards, but this one's mine, so. There's that. And then, so the other ones that I need to put away are the film strip. And then this one is a Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo bookmark. So I'll also show that. Uh, but the film strip first is the butter film strips. Butter, butter, butter. So yes, these ones, I still have it in the original plastic with the backing board. I just feel like I don't really want to take them out of the box. Like, yes, I'm one of those collectors where it's like, oh, don't take the toys out of the box because it kind of, like, depreciates. <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos. So. <sighs> Rip the band-aid off. Okay. So. It is slightly, like, warped bent because of how I have it in my binder which kind of sucks but I don't really know how else to like display it because I don't have like a three pocket that goes like up and down this way so I do have this one's a six pocket and um because everything else is a nine pocket it is kind of warped a little which I'm just going to deal with Um, I think these are mainly for butter. I don't know if there was... I'll have to look or look at my concert binder and see what else there might be. <clears throat> that have... That also use the same... Like, these are also really good quality, I feel like. Like, it's nice. I don't know if you can tell, right? That's a weird angle. But, like, that thickness is, like, really nice. And I'm going to keep it with the backing board because I'm going to keep it like a little rooted. Boop. Okay. So there we go. There is butter. Okay. Oh, I took out extra. I'll put this back. Um, what else is there that I need to put away? I have the bookmarks. Oh, I was going to check if the um one person hold on <clears throat> one of my go joiners got the um SLA sleeves which basically I think if I check here they're basically like the triptychs but just ever so slightly shorter right so this is this one's one of my joiners. I am going to 
also take this opportunity because I got this from somebody. I got I joined a go for this for Jimin, but I realized that they kind of bent it. They didn't like completely. I don't know if she bought it this way or um, like she did this, which is fine. Because honestly, I just wanted Jimin because um, I have Jin and JK. Um, so I'm just going to put this in the new sleeve. I'm going to sleeve all of these. I'm going to sleeve it with the uh, triptych ones. I'm not going to trim it down. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I'd actually use like an actual paper trimmer, I think, to actually trim it so I don't ruin it. Oh, okay. So these fit perfectly. Fit the, um, ooh, fit the... SLA ones, but it is obviously a lot longer, which to me is not that big of a deal. Um, and that kind of helps center it with the extra. I don't know. Can you see this? Is it too bright in here? Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so I'm going to put the three that I have in this. Um, I wonder if this is like a different... This one is also s slightly faded. But this could be like a first press one because the two that I have are all second press when they did the re-release um, in 2020, I think. I think that's when they did the re-release, reprint. Um, or no. No, the reprint is this one. The reprints were these. So all of mine here are all reprints. Did they do a reprint of this one? Or is that just when I got it? Can't remember. That looks cute. I like that. Okay. So personally, I don't mind that it's extra, a little bit extra longer, but there are SLA ones, specific sized ones. Um tell that's how much extra it is and I think it is probably about the same size let's see if this says yeah so seven 73 millimeters with 182 and 163 so essentially you know you could cut this shorter if you really wanted to okay so I think this is it for my for my binder here wings I did not get sleeves for those. I'm also getting those from someone. I'm sharing a pack with somebody else. Okay, so that's it for my album binder. And the next one I want to look at, oh, is my um, concert binder, which should be this one. Is this the concert? Yes, that's the concert binder. And this has all my bookmarks concert bookmarks so I'm gonna do that next um, yeah I think I don't think the postcards do the postcards fit those no that's too big for a postcard yeah okay. so <clears throat> I do want to sleeve these and especially the ones that we got for soul the soul ones are so much thinner that I definitely want to sleeve these uh the uh the bookmarks just kind of make it a little stronger okay so these are the Sao Paulo ones Ooh, these also feel really nice too looks good so yes tomorrow i was saying earlier tomorrow or midnight eastern standard time is when jimin's new single release set me free part two the preview so far looks so good and um i am so excited 
for it. Um, plus all the albums and then the PCs that are coming out. Oh, JK looks so nice. I have to get Jimin, Hobie, and Tay for Sao Paulo. Um, and then this one is Wimbley, right? Wimbley, London. <clears throat> I don't know why they did this. I think you're supposed to stand them up, right? That's what they wanted, where they have this lettering. Oops, sorry. Lettering is this way, but like, like the direction is not great. Like, why? Why, why did you do that? Huh, big hit. Pick up your mind. Okay. These are so nice. I really like the bookmarks. Obviously, I don't actually use it as a bookmark, but it does come out really nice. Oh, do I you end up using all 20 of these? No, I won't. Close, though. Close to using all, all the bookmarks. Okay. Yuki. Hobie. This one I'm missing Tay. Um, oh, and then if you want to see the thickness of this, like that's like the designer, the, the thought process that was put behind this and how like the quality of this overall is really good. So like a pack of these were for the bookmarks was $6 for 20 pieces. It seems, maybe it seems high, but I mean, like I said in my other, like, review video, like, these are designed for, these were made and designed by, for, like, K-pop collectors in mind. So then these are, these are the sole ones, which are slightly flimsier, but it'll be nice to put them in a sleeve. So they're nice and protected. I do really like this one. This is probably, I mean, dare I say, my favorite non, like, PC size. I don't know. That's a pretty big statement, right? Like, that's my favorite thing. But I seriously, like, Yoongi looks amazing. I lo absolutely love Seesaw. So, you know what? I absolutely love this bookmark. I really wish that this was the PC that they put on. Like, these outfits in the PCs would look so good. I mean, I like the PC that they ended up putting for the DVD. Because um, it was basically the new, the soul, right? The final VCR after they had come back from... A brief break. Um, they refilmed or they filmed a new um, filmed a new VCR and that was the outfit for um, that was the outfit for the PCs. Sorry, total brain fart. Okay, actually I'm gonna move I'm gonna put Hobie this way so that Hobie and everybody else are fading the same direction. Actually, Hobie will go in the middle. Two sock will be together. Actually, soap should be together. I want soap to be together. <laughs> okay, there we go. That looks good. How many do I have left? I have three left. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's basically what I have missing, right? I need. Um, Jimin, Tay, or Hobi. Oh no, I technically need one more. <laughs> and then Tay for this for this uh, Wembley set. Okay. So what else do I have? Um, I think that was the main thing. The other one was I was trying to find something that would fit these tickets. Let me see. I wonder if these um, the triptych ones fit. Ooh, the triptych might. That I definitely would need to trim. And I don't know if this is like taboo to talk about, but like trimming these pocket pages. Um, 
Because these ticket ones, oh, this is difficult to put in. Ugh. I'm, I'm struggling here. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to do this without, like, ruining the top of the plastic. But I guess if I'm going to cut it, it doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. So, oh, that fits nicely. It's a little tight, but like it fits well. Also, these tickets are not, I just realized, are kind of cut funny. Maybe that's intentional. Like, the, this does not line up. But, um, so yeah. I mean, you could put these, you could put the triptychs, use the same triptych sleeves and put them in here. So these are even shorter than the SLA bookmarks, album bookmarks. So if I do that, I mean, that would be nice. And then I could just trim it a little bit. Do I have plenty? I may do that. But I need to do that off camera because that, that, was, a, that was a struggle putting those on. Sorry, I keep burping too. I just had lunch. So do those. I think I'll do those separately. Oh, these were the other ones that I need to find a plastic for. Because I have these. And these also are in the original plastic. But I don't think they, they definitely do not fill, fill, fit the triptychs. Or the, oh, does this fit the postcard? No, it doesn't. This is the bookmarks. No. I don't know if they have ones for these, do they? No, I don't think so. At least I don't see it on their website. I can't remember if they actually have it. Maybe they're sold out, so I don't see it. But, um, that would be cool if they did. Ooh, that almost fits the postcard size. <clears throat> but... That's something that I need to re-plastic, re-do. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, these. So these I use um, just regular, like four by six, I think, photo sleeves. So that's what I have most of my postcards in. And any, any you know, live photos, right? So these photos all are in. Um, let's see what else was there. Oh, there was these. These also needed to be sleeved. I think these, oh, these do fit the, the film strips. Also need to be cut, though. So that would fit. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's just barely too wide. Okay. Um... I believe I'm sharing someone. I'm sharing a pack of those with somebody. These are too big, right? Yeah. So, these Festa ones are ever so slightly too big. I think that's it. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me check one more binder and let's see. And then I think that will we will wrap this up. Oh, actually, let me keep. <coughs> Sorry, let me keep that out. Okay, so this is the this is the Japanese binder. I removed all the PCs and I put it in a smaller binder because. All these bigger inclusions um, don't fit in the, um, like they fit perfectly in the, what is it called? Amifa binders, in the Amifa pages. So I didn't want to like have the overhang and I kind of like this layout right here where there's the postcard with the flyers. I'm like still debating if I want to keep this like that because that basically splits my it splits my uh, Japanese album collection, album PCs into two, which I'm not really a fan of. So this is also something I wanted to check. Ah, it's ever so slightly too big. Dang it. Okay. 
what would this fit? Yeah, it's too big. Not too big as well. Okay. That also would not fit in the... Oh, it would. This would fit in the pocket, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, it's okay. So I think that was it. And these are kind of just random stuff that I took out but didn't put anywhere. They get to come. Which is a different size than the Break the Silence ones. I think that was it for all kind of the random sizes. So that's it for today. Um, hopefully this was helpful in kind of figuring out if you want to try um, Prism Platinum and their products. Um, as you've probably seen, if you haven't seen my other um, video, I use all of their sleeves for... Um, kind of my A5 size and I'm waiting on the chonky binder so I don't have their binder yet but this is how I you know this is the the sleeves that I use um and oh while I have this out sorry because I'm trying to wrap this up I want to check something here now these flyers I wonder if these flyers like how nicely do they fit because they fit perfectly like perfectly in the amifa sleeves but there is some like slight overhang like they stick out of the binder a little too much oh the flyers oh i might have to think about that because <clears throat> another thing so one i don't know this if this was in my other binder let me it's my other Mott's one. One thing that they have, Prism has, that I really, really like, and I, of course, do not have it in this one. Hold on. Um, what I really like that they have is this. They have, this one's my individual, kind of individual uh, special works kind of solo stuff. They have these now, which is a three pocket, basically. So this would could be this could be something that I could use for like my Japanese one. That would be really cool. Okay, that might be something I will think about later. These are the postcards that are from the piano book. Um, something that I'll think about later because this is nice. I kind of like that, but also like these are flyers, so these aren't like super main priority where I have to like keep it super nice like this but I do feel like half of the Japanese albums items being separated like this is a little bit like annoying honestly so yeah I might fiddle with that later but I do need a bigger binder for for the prism pages so anyways let me wrap this up um thank you for watching so i will link my other um prism platinum review kind of put away video below and um yeah uh thank you for watching um, please support Jimin's new album that comes out next week, but the first single comes out tonight, um, on Friday the 17th, Set Me Free Part 2. Uh, please support it, um, and I will see you next time. Bye!